just a, like a quick example of, of what I did with this myself. Uh, about a year ago, I had a, a four plate bench in training, which was awesome. Uh, I got 405, and I was going into a competition, and I was pretty confident that I was gonna bench 400 pounds for the first time, which has been like a long-term goal of mine. So my game plan was to go in to open at like 370, which would be like a reasonable first attempt, go to 390 on the second, and then take 400 uh, or uh, 405 on my third, depending on how that second attempt felt. And I uh, got the competition, I made the 370, and I missed the 390 twice, like up here close to lockout. So I was like pretty upset, because I figured like that, I figured like based on what I'd done in training, I hit this 405 bench, 390 should have been like within my, was something I would have been able to do. And because of that, I like I lost a lot of pounds off my total. I left a lot of, of weight on the platform. So I went back to kind of the drawing board and took a look at like the original lift and like what my issues were. And one thing I noticed is um, I had a couple of issues. My, my elbow position was a little out of place at the bottom. So I came down and I had my elbows a little under the bar. And uh, just in, in my training, I, I tended not to do a lot of like pause bench presses. And when I got to a competition, I usually didn't have an issue with pausing. But the pause that really got me in the competition, they, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the competition, but in a competition bench press, you bring it down, you have to touch your chest, and you wait until they give you a press command. So you have to hold it there motionless is the, the lettering of the rules. And I kind of gotten away from that to a point where, even though it wasn't a really long call on the, on the part of the ref, it felt like forever down there. And I could feel like all the power kind of seeping out and I lost my position and I couldn't finish it. So the big issues I had with the bench press, were one, the elbow position at the bottom, two, being familiar and comfortable with the pause, and then three, um, I just lock at work. I figured if I could bring up my triceps and bring up my lockout position I was missing near the top, that was gonna to contribute to a bigger bench press. So starting at the top of that like hierarchy, the first thing was to improve technique. So um, first thing we worked on is like pause bench presses, working on like a better elbow position at the bottom. Um, the competition like pauses, so I'd be familiar one with the pause and then two with the position. With the um, the second one, so ex exercises that were like like the comp or like the uh, the primary lift, but not quite the comp the primary lift. I did a bunch of incline presses, um, and I still did some uh, some touch and go bench press. So again, touch and go bench press is still a bench press, um, and I like the incline just because it got a little bit extra shoulder and lockout work in there. And then the final thing was doing some extra emphasis on um, top end strength. So a lot of tricep work and a little bit of shoulder work so I could finish off a, a heavy bench press. And I worked that for um, my, my next training cycle and, and went into a competition and hit, uh, it was 180 kilo bench, so 396. And then the, the previous few competitions I managed to eventually get 400 and, and recently 410. So that was like about nine or 10 months total worth of, of time to go from like hitting the 370 and missing 390 to, to hitting 410. But that's just a, a like a little example of like how you could put something like that into practice. So now we got like an idea of like exercise you want to pick, some basics on like programming. So the next thing to talk about is like putting things into practice. Um, so the idea here, like talking about periodization, yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to ask you, when you went back to work on your technique, did you first drop the weights down? So when you were pausing, you were by yeah. the weight? Yeah, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that here. But basically, like, over the course of like, a training cycle, you're like, really general. You want to start with like lighter weights and more repetitions and gradually work your, weights, your way up to like heavier weights and fewer repetitions. So yeah, when I, when I went back to, to training, I think I started around 70% uh, was uh, where my the like percentage wise what the weight was okay. and gradually built that up and like going into a competition is when I got up from like 85 and 90 and, and 95 percent intensities okay. uh, but yeah absolutely and, and so as far as like it's like general stuff yeah if you're like trying to, to improve or make a, a technique alteration I would definitely recommend bringing the weight down um, if you're trying to like think your way through a slightly different movement pattern once you get like enough weight on there all you can really do is focus on like trying to move like trying not to die <laughs> Like, I got a squat, I want to like stand up and I just like hope it doesn't crush me. If I'm benching, I'm trying not to let it drop on my chest. But like there's not a lot of like thought process that could go in. So if I'm trying to like learn a new movement pattern, or you're, you know, you're trying to learn a new movement pattern, yeah, you want less weight on there. So like, all right, I know I'm going to move it, but now I can focus a little bit on like, all right, I want to make this slight adjust adjustment and then yeah, you, you can think your way through a lift better when there's less weight. 